my Virgo lovelies. This is your reading for March 2023. My name is Natasha. I already shuffled these decks. I'm going to give a little zhuzh and we're first going to see what was going on in February, what we're leaving behind in February, and then what we can expect in March. We're going to first do some good old fashioned Rider weight Tarot, then we're going to pull some Oracle cards, and then maybe an extra little bonus Oracle card pull at the end. Don't forget to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And remember that these are general collective community readings. Some of this might be for you, some of it might be for another Virgo. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Now, Again, I already shuffled these decks and already lurking at the bottom of the deck, my Virgos. Ten of Pentacles. We love to see it. This is long-term, stable abundance, um, a legacy abundance for you, not only you, but your family. It's like long-term. It's like, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is very like abundance, independent, getting that bag kind of energy. The Ten of Pentacles is like long-term abundance. Like it's here to stay. It's here to last, right? And that's what we, we want to see it. We love to see it. So what was going on for my Virgos in February? What are my Virgos leaving behind in February? What was the vibe of February? What was going on? No chaos mode. Chaos mode is when I feel like I just shuffle and I let the cards fall out. But that might be a little too chaotic for you. Very grounded, very structured Virgo. So, <clears throat> do it the old-fashioned way. The Empress. Divine Feminine. Doesn't matter what gender, but luxury, creativity. Creativity is really key with the Empress. It's also a card of pregnancy, um, but not just pregnant with like a literal physical child. Pregnant with ideas, pregnant with something new in your life. Again, creativity, creation, feminine, <clears throat> luxury, single, independent, vibing, very good energy. Card number three, Queen of Wands. Look at look at you go, Virgo. Like, look at that little black cat, a little sunflower. The Queen of Not Wands knows what she wants and she goes for it. I just saw two, two, two as I'm recording. She knows what she wants and she goes for it. Again, the Empress, like you knew what you wanted to create and you did it and you created it and you went for it. I'm hearing it was like you went for it. So good for you. Yes, Virgo. I think you went for it because this was how you're feeling. Five of Pentacles. You were feeling broke, lost, left out in the cold, lonely, very not Queen of Wands, very not the Empress. You were feeling it's a bad, Five of Pentacles is a bad feeling. It's like that whatever your harvest was, was rotten. And it's, you know, we all go through it. And I feel like you were feeling that way. But instead of staying out in the cold, you went inside to where those, that nice stained glass window is, and you warmed yourself. And that's what I like with the Queen of Wands. It was like, you lit your own fire. You found your own creativity. You were like, I'm not gonna like keep feeling this way. Like injured, sick, cold, lonely, like broke scarcity like you were like no I don't want that and so you decided to go the opposite direction the empress the queen of wands like you took control of your narrative is kind of what I'm hearing which we'd love to see it Virgo yeah the hanged man in the past in February I was yet like the hanged man I always want to put it this way because obviously this is right side up but the hanged man is hanging upside down just at the bottom of the deck card of Libra um I feel like you were stuck because you were finding balance, right? Justice could be karmic debt, karmic balance, think the scales were evening out. And that's kind of why you felt stuck with the hanged man energy. Like even though, again, like there was progress here with the Queen of Wands and the Empress, I feel like, you know, it wasn't, it was more progress kind of in the mind and your healing and that kind of journey, but you're feeling stuck in like the physical tangible world you're kind of feeling like why am I not moving forward like I did the work I did the queen of wands I did the empress but I'm still not moving forward yet I think it's because you need to find balance when you've gone through such an extreme thing from like the five of pentacles to the empress and the queen of wands it takes a little bit for things to balance out so that's kind of I just saw 444 like I think you're stuck but it's for a reason Virgo you might need to shift your perspective with the hanged man. Anything else that was happening in February? The Fool, a new journey. You took a leap of faith. So sorry, Virgo, my dog lost it when I pulled the Fool, which is funny because he's a little white dog. 
And look who's on the full card, the little white dog. You took a leap of faith, my Virgo lovelies. You walked right off that cliff, not caring, unbothered. You were like, like I said, you were done with this. You were done with this energy. And you were just like, you know what? All right. You just were like, bug it. Walked right off that cliff. But again, you're still feeling the hanged man. You're still feeling like a little stuck. Even though you took the leap of faith, you were like, I did what I was supposed to do. Why am I still not moving forward? In February. I think we're going to see some forward movement in March. So with that being said, what is going on for Virgo in March? What is Virgo moving into? Took that leap, walked off that clip, took that leap of faith. Maybe with a little sidekick, a little white doggy. Doesn't have to be a dog. Could just be, could be a little sidekick, a person, an animal, familiar. <clears throat> Justice almost wanted to come out again. Knight of Pentacles. Very slow forward movement. Almost like to the point where you're still feeling stuck kind of forward movement, right? Knight of Pentacles, he's the slowest moving knight in the deck. But he's moving, he's a knight, right? It's just a little, look, I told you. Justice almost came out again. Justice at the bottom of the deck. Justice is here again. Could be dealing with a Libra, but I feel like this is you finding balance. If you want to move forward, you need to find balance. No more extreme ups and downs. No more all over the place. No more, like, chaos I'm hearing. You need to find balance. You need to find grounding. You need to trust yourself. High Priestess, you trust your intuition. That's how you're going to find balance, is by trusting yourself and trusting your intuition. Um, heavy Divine Feminine energy in this whole reading, again, doesn't matter gender. It's just like softness, intuition, um, healing vibes. You need to trust your intuition. I also see balance in the High Priestess, right? The black and the white pillars. I mean, she's also very similar to the Empress vibes. Um... But she trusts herself. The enemy of intuition is self-doubt. Stop doubting yourself, Virgo. You know what you need to do. You know what is best for you. Follow that. And that's where you're going to find that forward movement. What else is happening for Virgo in March? All right. We love to see it. Wow. Would you look at that? That is just a great, a great little spread here that came out. First, I mean... The Three of Wands, a little delay. I don't know. It's actually the Two of Wands. I thought it was the Three of Wands. Two of Wands, Three of Wands, very similar. But this is even better. Three of Wands, a little bit of a delay. Two of Wands is like a slight delay, but not really. You got the whole world in your hands, Virgo. Look, he's holding the world and he's looking up, looking like off that cliff, right? You're like, I took the leap of faith. I feel like what you didn't go like all the way. You kind of like took a leap of faith and now you're looking at the infinite possibilities of where you could go with this. And where are you going with this? Victory, six of wands. Victory in whatever you choose, three, 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 just saw it. Four of wands, stability, a home, could be marriage, um, but stability, a stable foundation, a base. I love the four of wands. And then the seven of pentacles, planting those new seeds, planting those new seeds, gazing upon them lovingly and planting some new seeds. And victory in whatever those seeds are. Like, I'm feeling it's very, like, home-based. Home, hearth, health. But the Four of Wands is also very balanced, right? We have two wands on either side. You're going to find all of these wonderful good things, all of this victory, if you can find that balance, my Virgo friends. What else is happening for Virgo? In March, there's also in March a Virgo full moon. It's going to be your full moon. The world. Completion, a full circle. You did it. Congratulations. The world card for me. Look, I mean, the lovers, the world, like, moving on up, Virgo. Um, the world for me is like a confirmation card. I'm seeing one, two, three, four on my stove <laughs> right over there. Um, it's full circle. I pulled the world, like the personal connection I have to the world is when I quit my full-time job five years ago to pursue doing this full-time, like small business, YouTube, social media. I got home from quitting my job with no warning. It was a very, very terrible job. 
and I quit because I could not, it was like the most toxic job, job you can imagine. And I came home and I pulled one card and it was the world. And at that time I had this deck where it had like descriptions of the cards on it and it just said, you did it. You did it. Congratulations. The world, the lovers, you did it. Now it's scary to see the three of swords. You're feeling a little heartbroken, Virgo. I feel like, you know, whatever it was that left you feeling five of pentacles, you're still feeling it in your heart. You're still feeling those swords in your heart. There's trauma, there's heartbreak, there's loss, but it's okay. I feel like you're going to work through it if you can focus on trusting your intuition. Nine of cups, wish come true, wish fulfillment. Like, I know that what you went through was hard and no one should have to go through these things, five of pentacles, three of swords, but you know, it's, it's, finally things are turning around, I feel. Nine of cups, it's like the opposite of the five of pentacles and the three of swords. It's, it's wish come true, it's happiness, it's emotional fulfillment, it's paradise, which we love to see. We want that, don't we all? We all want that. Nine of cups is like literally my most favorite card in the deck. Two of swords. I think, Virgo, the thing that is keeping you stuck, the thing that's keeping you in that hanged man energy is you're like, I don't know where to go. You feel blindfolded. You feel like you have two pretty clear paths, but you're like, I don't know where to go. That's where justice comes in. That's where balance comes in. Maybe it's following both of those paths. Maybe, right? Balance between those two paths. You can do multiple things. Who says you can't? But I think you need to take that blindfold off and you need to choose the path to follow. The two of swords in another deck that I have is depicted as like the two swords, like cutting a rope, but the rope is just not breaking. And instead of, right, it's the vibe of like waiting for the rope to break instead of breaking it yourself. Instead of waiting for the rope to break, you're chilling that hanged man. Instead of waiting for it, you need to be the one to break it. You need to make the decision. So what else is going on for my Virgos? in March. Oh my goodness, okay, please hold. <laughs> Cause I just yeeted a bunch of cards. All right, what do we got here? Okay, yeah, I, yeah. Maybe next time, maybe next time. Whatever it was that let you, left you feeling five of pentacles, you were like, I thought this was what I wanted. And the universe was like, maybe next time, not this time, but it's not no, right? It's not straight up no, it's maybe next time. It's maybe you weren't ready this time, okay? Season of the witch. Your season is coming. Your season is coming, my lovely Virgos. It wasn't this time, but maybe it's next time. Your season is coming your season of flourishing magic thriving um very community coven vibes i think that's what you might need to focus on um enough is a feast now this card is about how when you don't know what you want it's never enough when you don't know what you want you're running around trying to consume everything over consuming overspending, overeating, over whatever, because you don't know what you want and it never feels, you never feel full, you never feel content, you never feel satisfied. When you know what you want, enough is a feast. You don't need to over consume when it's exactly what you want. It's one plate of spaghetti, not 12 plates of spaghetti, right? Enough is a feast when you know exactly what you want. Um, the high road, water has memory, playing God. Water has memory speaks to trauma. It speaks to our bodies remembering what has happened to us. You know, we're like 70% water. Water has memory, so do we, so do our bodies. We've been through stuff, Virgo, I know. I know it, and it's okay. You can heal from it. Just remember the body keeps score. And, you know, I think you need to process through that healing so you can heal the five of pentacles and the three of swords and have all these wonderful things happen. I think that's why you were kind of stuck in the hanged man. Instead of playing God, right? Instead of trying to be the puppet and the puppet master, maybe you just take the high road. 
instead of trying to look i know virgo it's hard and i feel like there's a stereotype of right virgo perfectionists it's a little bit of a stereotype a little bit truth you cannot control everything you cannot control everything what can you do you can take the high road you can do the good things the next right thing be the good person but inevitably you're not going to control everyone you're not going to control everything stop playing god and choose the high road any final messages for virgo jack agrees <laughs> Bring your own seat to the table. I think the reason why you felt Five of Pentacles out in the cold, why you felt Three of Swords heartbroken, you feel like you don't belong at that table, like whatever table it was that you were trying to get to. You need to create your whole own table and then bring your own seat to it. Like, no more trying to fit in at other people's tables. You need to be bring your own table and bring your own seat to that table if you can see here all these other chairs is all mismatched right um you know it's like mismatched chairs i think that's where the magic happens is like at least for me i'm I know, i'm a pisces i'm weird it's like when i'm around like other weird people i feel good i want everyone to bring their own seat to the table and everyone's gonna bring something different and magical and unique. Like stop trying to like fit yourself into a box is what I'm saying, or stick yourself somewhere that doesn't feel right or that doesn't feel good for you. You're not gonna fit. It's like, you know the thing where like a kid's toy where it's like square star circle and you're like trying to fit the, or triangle or whatever. And you're like trying to fit the triangle and it's not fitting in any of the shapes because you're not meant, that's not like, you're not a square, you're not a star you're a triangle and you're not going to fit in any of those boxes i feel like spongebob when he's like we're not talking about this or this we're talking about this sorry i will i may i think i've made a spongebob reference in every single one of these readings bring your own seat to the table okay what else is we're gonna need to hear from our last oracle deck lighthouse don't doubt your worth don't doubt your worth it says i'm always enough on her little sign the enemy of intuition is self-doubt. You have the high priestess. You are worthy, Virgo. You have enough. You do enough. You are enough. Don't ever doubt it. I feel like when you come to these tables and you're made to feel like an outcast, you feel unworthy. You're like, what did I do wrong? Why don't I belong at this table? It's not you. It's the table, which is why you need to go find your own table with a bunch of weirdos over there. Exactly. Expectations. Don't think anyone else's approval except your own. Your approval is the only one that matters, Virgo. I'm going to leave it at that because that's pretty straightforward. My dog is losing it. <laughs> um, I am very happy and excited for you, Virgo. I think things are going to go great for you. Do what makes you happy, not anybody else. So all that being said, Virgo, don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Don't forget to leave a comment if this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, save, share, all those things. Um, I do live readings in my YouTube membership. You just hit that boing, boing, join button. <laughs> um, I have live tarot readings every week. I have live yoga classes every week. I have yoga challenges. There's going to be a yoga challenge in my membership, a new one for my members. I'm going to release an old one for the public. So either way, you're going to get a 30-day yoga challenge in March if you subscribe. Um, I have courses that are half off until the end of February. I would snag them before March 1st because they're going up in price. I have retreats. I only have three spots left for my Joshua Tree retreat. Maybe I'll see you there. Those are all my offerings, Virgo. I'll stop ranting now. I hope to see you next time and have a wonderful March.